plan to do more to break the chain from our forefathers to break the chain of this practice. And we know because they are the leaders and we the women, we listen to them, we are under them. Whatever they say is what will happen. As a woman, I can say, I don't want my daughter to go through it. But if I'm married to an African man and he says she must, then who am I to say no? And that is why we are using this opportunity to call on them to put an end to it. I'm sure my other colleagues who will speak on the same subject later will explain elaborately the side effects of genital mutilation. The African man is a disciplinarian. He likes to, to discipline his families and bring them under the African tradition. And this circumstance we are talking about it's an African tradition. And we know that men can do more to stop this tradition. Though it has, it has been stopped in some parts, but they still need to do more. Because even in Nigeria, they are still doing it, carrying out this act as we speak right now. And we would like to call on the men to be a role model as a role model, the children look up to them. The children copy their parents. And also, the fathers, they also want their children, their sons, to be like them. To copy them, to te they teach them to be astounding citizens and teach them moralities and justice, responsibility and decision making. We want them to use that opportunity to teach their children to also make the same decision when they are grown up to stop circumcision of women. Finally, if we go to the book of Genesis, it was written there that men should be circumcised, not women. <laughs> and as a man, the Lord said you should obey him. He puts you there as the head, and you should obey him. If you love your God, you will obey his rules. So, and what he has commanded, he never commanded that women should be circumcised. So we feel that this one is out of their own selfish interest, that they decided to be circumcising women. And it's, it's not a good thing. So we want them to be a role model, to other men, men who knows about it already. When you go home to Africa, you should talk to other men, tell them to stop the practice in the family, and by so doing, the chain will continue, and every other man will start preaching to other men, because we want this act to be eradicated. And finally, having said all this, it is better for a modern the African man to be more caring, more understanding, and to show more love to his family, and to be more sensitive to their needs emotionally. Because by the time you do all this, you will know that emotionally, it affects the women when they are circumcised. So we hope that they will hear our call and carry out what we are crying about. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Helen Dawson, thank you very much. That was a, a brilliant uh, uh, instruction.